Imagine waking up one day to headlines filled with news of war and strife from a land that's been the cradle of history for millennia. Now what if these events unfolding before our eyes were more than just another page in history? What if they were a mirror to ancient prophecies, foretold in scriptures thousands of years old? Join us as we explore the possibility of prophecy in our time. Is history repeating itself? Or is it a prelude to a prophetic fulfillment? Stay tuned as we uncover the threads of this unfolding narrative. In the heart of the Middle East, a conflict has erupted with a ferocity that has captured the world's attention. On October 7th, a sudden and devastating attack by Hamas militants took the lives of over 1,400 Israelis and resulted in approximately 240 hostages being taken. This act of aggression ignited a fierce war, with Israel responding through extensive military campaigns both on the ground and from the air. The impact has been profound. Markets have seen their shelves empty, travel has come to a near standstill, and thousands of lives, both Palestinian and Israeli, have been lost. The world watches, holding its breath, as this ancient land once again becomes a battleground, with each day's events deeply affecting the lives of millions. In the tapestry of Christian theology, Israel is not just a nation, it is a symbol of enduring faith and prophetic destiny. Biblically, it's the birthplace of the patriarchs Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And spiritually, it's seen as God's chosen land where significant events unfolded that shaped the Judeo-Christian narrative. For many believers, Israel's history, restoration, and the conflict surrounding it resonate deeply with biblical prophecy. Eschatology, the study of the end times, often spotlights Israel as a geographical and spiritual epicenter, a fulcrum around which future prophetic events are believed to pivot. These ancient lands, steeped in millennia of prayer and prophecy, continue to be a focal point for those watching for signs of what has been foretold. In the scriptures, there are passages that have echoed through time, suggesting events that could herald the end of days. Ezekiel chapters 38 and 39 speak of a great conflict involving a coalition of nations. Daniel chapter 9 verse 27 warns of a covenant with many that marks a period of tribulation. In the New Testament, Matthew 24 and Luke 21 describe signs of the times, with nations rising against nations and great earthquakes shaking the earth. These verses have been interpreted in myriad ways, with some seeing them as symbolic and others as literal signs to be fulfilled. But it's crucial to approach these prophecies with discernment, recognizing that while they may offer insight into God's plan, the exact timing and nature of their fulfillment remain a mystery. Overspeculation can lead to confusion. Instead, we should observe with a mindful awareness and a heart open to understanding. As the world grapples with the images and news from the heart of the conflict, Christian leaders like Pastor Stephen Cowrie of the First Baptist Church in Bethlehem offer a perspective shaped by faith and grounded in the community. Amidst the chaos, Pastor Curie speaks of the vital role of love and peace, teachings at the core of Christian doctrine. He emphasizes the importance of loving one's enemies and being a light in the darkness, a beacon of hope and solace for all, regardless of differences. This message of peace is not just a whisper, but a clarion call from Christians living through these turbulent times, embodying the spirit of reconciliation and grace even when faced with adversity. As we navigate through these complex discussions, weaving together the strands of current events with ancient prophecies, we turn to you, our viewers. What are your thoughts on these perspectives? Do you see the unfolding events as mere coincidences, or do they resonate with the prophecies we've mentioned? Your insights enrich our conversation, so please share your reflections in the comments below. Do you find a thread of connection to Ezekiel's ancient words or do you interpret these times in a different light? Let's engage in this dialogue together as we seek to understand the times we live in. In the midst of turmoil, the Christian message stands as a beacon of hope, affirming that even the darkest times are not void of light. The gospel tells us that Jesus' healing power transcends all manner of chaos and conflict. 
This belief holds that through faith, restoration and peace are not just possible, but promised. It is this unshakable hope that empowers believers to seek reconciliation and to extend compassion, embodying the love of Christ who heals not just the body, but the heart and the community at large. As we reflect on these events, we hold on to this promise of healing and renewal. As we conclude today's exploration into the convergence of current conflicts and ancient prophecies, it's vital to recognize the rich tapestry of interpretations that surround us. The quest for understanding is complex, and the views we've discussed are but a few in a sea of many. We encourage you to dive deeper, to find peace and purpose through faith, and to engage in conversations within your communities. If you found this discussion enlightening and wish to join us for more explorations into faith and current events, please consider subscribing or liking the video. Your support helps us continue these important conversations. Thank you for watching.